So guys, in a few days' time, HTC are having a conference and they will be announcing a few new phones. The most significant one, at least the one that most people are talking about, is the HTC U11 Ultra Play. Now, most people thought this was going to be called the HTC U11 Plus, but looks like they've, you know, changed the name of it. And it's easy to see why they're calling it a Plus, S8 Plus and all that kind of thing. There's another one being announced as well, it's HTC U11 Lite, but... I'll talk about that in a second, but for me, it isn't really a true HTC U11. It's really just carrying the name. So the specifications here, you can see, is a 1440p screen, 6-inch uh, screen there, 12 megapixels, 6 gigabytes of RAM. It's still got the Snapdragon 835, 3930 milliamp battery life. Essentially, it is the same as the HTC U11 that I've got that was released about 5-6 months ago, but they are adding a few new things to it. The screen size, for one, is increasing from 5.5 inches to 6 inches. Um, the battery life has went up from 3,000 to about 4,000. And down here, there's a few changes as well. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, there's going to be 4 gig and 6 gigabytes of RAM as well. And a 128 gigabytes of storage option. Now, I don't believe that was available. I don't think there was an option for that for the HTC U11. Could be wrong, maybe in other parts of the world, but in the UK at least you could only get 64. So it looks like essentially it is an HTC U11 with a bigger screen, a bigger battery, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and everything else seems to be the same, essentially. So, you know, there's a lot of people who liked the look of the HTC U11, but maybe they thought battery life wasn't good enough. Maybe they thought, you know, they didn't like the fact they didn't have a headphone jack. This could be the phone for them. The other one, uh, some people call it, in Giz China here, they're calling it the HTC U11. There's been a lot of different names being thrown around for what this other one is going to be called. They've got HTC U11 Life. We won't know for sure for a few days if it's light or um, life or whatever. But I don't think this is really a, a true HTC U11. You can see the specs here. 5.2 inch display, it's got a snap, Snapdragon 8 630, so it's not an 835, it's a 630. So this is definitely the kind of, a competitor for the, the Moto G range, the G5 and that, that's the kind of, the line of phones that it will be competing against. And you can see it's 60 megapixel main camera, HDR 4K support, 60 megapixel selfie camera up front, 2600 milliamp battery, which should be fine with the smaller 5.2 inch screen. No other specs here, but yeah, this is essentially a mid-range phone. It's, you know, it's considered the Motorola G5, that kind of idea. So, yeah, the kind of using the HTC U11 brand and just trying to put it all under one umbrella. Um, 400 euros, for me, mm, I don't know if it'll be worth it or not. I'll need to wait until the full specs, but it's, mm, I don't know, it seems it could be expensive. So, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. We won't know for another few days, you know, what's true and what's not true. By this point, though, you know, when you're so close to the release date or, or the announcement date of these phones, it's normally, you know, they're normally on the ball and they're normally very, very close to what you're actually going to get. So please let me know what you think. Love to know what you think, guys. So please do leave a comment. I'll speak to you all soon and take care.